you're watching an SQL Content Machine tutorial video. Today I'm going to cover the usage of the image inserter as it applies to the article creator. I'm going to open the article creator task I created before, roll over to content inserts and back all the way down to where it says insert images. I want to insert images into my article automatically based on the keyword I'm using for my article and I'm going to do that by toggling it on. And for this example, I want to have zero to two images to appear in my article. Change it to what you find is appropriate. Next is the insert post thumbnail or featured image. Quite simply, all it does is it tags the first image with a special class name that marks it as a featured image. And this relies on the theme that you're using to recognize this little class name and pick it up as the post thumbnail. I can also force my images to appear at the end of my article. The next setting is controlling exactly where the images appear in relation to text. So by default it's centered, but you can also have your images appear with uh, text on the left and on the right hand side. So you're looking at images floated on the left or floated on the right. So this concludes the basic settings explanation. And uh, moving now we have the advanced image settings. If I click on this, it's going to drop down. And here we have the default image width. You probably won't need to change this. Uh, and to avoid footprints, this image width is randomly changed. So it's between plus and five pixels from 250. So you get anything from 255, 245 pixels up to 255 pixels in size. This is the image string. So this is this, this is what next is going to insert into your article and these uh, percentage signs are macros so these are replaced uh, during runtime by the information that is present in the article creator so if you do need to modify this maybe to support some other custom HTML or other code you can do it here. The next setting is to use your own images if you don't want to use the images found via Google image search you can of course select to opt and use custom image URLs only and then you can fill out your custom image URLs down here so one per line I don't want this so I'm going to flip it back to Google only the next setting is alt tags so here by default it's going to use the primary keyword you can customize your own list of alt tags you want to use as well I'm going to flip that back to primary keyword so there's nothing more to cover here for images so I'm going to run the task and get back to you when it's done. Okay, so the e task has finished running and uh, I can verify that by looking at the search images and found 170 images. So I know that um, the image scraper was engaged. The best way to preview the article is clicking here on this blue preview icon which opens up the article in the preview article tool. So this is the article with the spin tax and uh, if I click on preview it's going to give me a preview of the article so one version of the article, article has no images I click the spin again button and I have two images let's click spin again zero spin again only one image so this is how the image insert works but if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the video below or you can send me an email anytime info at seocontentmachine.com. Thank you for watching.